for me it's a pleasure to, to be here in order to explain what, uh, what Elite is because uh, it has something in common about the possibility to work with companies without any borders. And so it's, uh, it's something that uh, I, I feel uh, quite similar to the last uh, uh, sentence that, um, that the previous speaker has told you. And so I'm Marta Testi, I'm responsible for Elite in uh, uh, continental Europe. Um, uh, the objective of my speech is to present to you what Elite is uh, in order to evaluate also in the, net, in the networking table how we can uh, imagine uh, a cooperation between uh, Elite and the network that we have created in the past six years and uh, uh, a, a strongly network like uh, IR, IR Global. First of all, what, what Elite is. Uh, Elise is a program that we launched uh, as a, a London Stock Exchange Group uh, uh, in uh, uh, 2012. Uh, uh, with the aim of support uh, ambitious SMEs in, uh, in growing. And so SMEs in Europe are facing uh, more or less the same uh, problems. And with problems, we mean opportunity for growth. And what we are mm, doing is to put together a bunch of companies uh, that are starting a path together. And so not only one by one, but together. And so entrepreneurs together uh, in order to uh, be updated in uh, how to create a strategy, how to go abroad how to use innovation and technology in order to uh, foster their um, capability uh, as business leaders. Um, who is clear? We are, uh, as the name itself is telling to you, Elite is something that uh, uh, want to uh, be offered to the high ambition and high quality companies. And so we have several requirements and I will have the chance to, to share with you what are these requirements. Uh, in reality, we are working with the small and medium uh, companies, and so we are not looking to big corporation, but we want really to work to the 20, with the 23 million of SMEs that we have in, uh, in Europe in order to make uh, uh, Europe work and make also uh, Europe wealth. How? Um, we are not offering executive courses because we are not a business school. We are uh, a, um, a, a platform in which you can connect companies and capital. Uh, but for sure, we need to start uh, um, using some topics and some uh, elements that could be of interest for these entrepreneurs. Uh, and so it's a mix of uh, training, a mentorship, and uh, the possibility to join a network of opportunities. And with opportunities, I, I, I refer, I'm referring to investor opportunities, uh, but also business matching opportunities among the uh, company itself. Uh, all this stuff is not possible without the support of the advisors because we are not covering uh, all the topics that we have uh, uh, to cover. And so uh, Elite is a win-win model between the advisory community of more than um, 150 advisors that are already part of our network and companies. Because we can put together companies, we can support and mentor in them, but then if a company at the end of the day needs uh, a support from an advisor, is the advisor that is supporting us uh, uh, to help them. What are the benefits of joining Elite? These are some sample of the benefits that we got from, uh, uh, from, the, from the company themselves. And so first of all, to access a, a diverse network of uh, businesses. It's, 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 it's something strange, but in reality, entrepreneurs are really alone in the management of their day-by-day um, uh, -day business because they're really with a lot of supplier, with a lot of clients, but when they are in front of strategic uh, thinking, they are feeling as family-owned business really um, alone in front of the decision that they need to take. And so having the possibility to share experience with other entrepreneurs, uh, having the possibility to um, listen to other uh, experience and other projects in order to understand if this project can be helpful for them, it's something that they really appreciate a lot. Access to investors. I will spend a few words after in order to explain to you how many uh, corporate finance deals uh, uh, these companies made in the last uh, five years due to the fact that we are putting them in a dynamism context. And so entrepreneurs uh, want to uh, see what uh, they can do um, and uh, want to start speaking with other entrepreneurs in order to start uh, working with them. Collaborative experience, for sure. Um, it's a way to not to come back to the school desks, but it's, a, it's an experience to uh, look each other, understand from each other what uh, um, yeah, they can do in order to increase and in order to unlock their, their potential. Uh, development and enhanced profile is clear because companies uh, uh, that are part of Elite are demonstrating an impact uh, in be part of this project. And so in terms of uh, financial KPIs, but also in terms of quality changes within the companies, they are start moving uh, faster compared to the others. And so faster compared to a general benchmark of companies similar to them. Um, 
company access requirements. And as I mentioned, Elite is not for, for everyone because uh, we need to keep a clear control of the quality of the company that we want to have in this, um, in this network. Uh, we have some financial requirements that are really, <clears throat> really um, simple. And so minimum revenues uh, um, equal to 10 million in revenue. And so also small and micro companies can be uh, allowed to access uh, Elite. Um, growing and so a minimum a bid the margin equal, equal to 10% year by year uh, and the net profit and so positive net profit but apart from the financial uh, numbers that are always uh, um, we can always make some exception depending on companies uh, the most important access requirements are based on the behavior and on the characteristics of the companies in their um, making business and so high quality and ambitious companies are the only company that we want to see in this platform um, evidence for the past, but also a clear um, vision for the future plan of growth. Um, commitment to participate, because as you know, uh, time is money. <laughs> and so these companies need to be part of this network and this uh, program, but putting their time and their effort in order to, um, to go ahead in, in the path, which is one of the most uh, important uh, elements. Opportunity to obtain and desire to obtain funding because um, uh, companies are facing after the credit, the, the credit crunch crisis, uh, the fact that they cannot only use bank loans, traditional loans as the only way to uh, funding their growth because uh, it's, uh, uh, let me say, it's a paradox because they are looking to uh, bank loans, uh, which are really short term in terms of uh, vision, in order to funding opportunities and projects that are long term uh, or a project and so there is a mismatching between what the traditional uh, funding system can offer to them compared to what they need in order to grow in order to go global in order to start thinking as a big uh, company um, and for sure credible uh, and reputable uh, company management and so we are really strict in the checking of reputation about the entrepreneurs and the reputation about the managers within the company um, in order to, um, uh, to show you what Elite is, I would like to, to show you a video in order to explain what we have done in the last five years. Some numbers are not perfectly updated because uh, it's referring to last year, five year anniversary. As London Stock Exchange Group, we have started this uh, initiative. Now Elite is a company itself, uh, and so it's no more a project within a group uh, focused on uh, public markets like, like an exchange, but it's a company uh, with uh, quite independence because we have also um, external investors within the capital. And what we are now um, uh, doing is to expand 
our community also outside of Europe. As you can see in this map, uh, Elite was born in Italy because uh, the SMEs in that country are really, um, the, the community of the SMEs is really huge uh, and can, let me say, demonstrate a, a super strong uh, change in their mind in order to grow through alternative funding uh, opportunities. We then export the program uh, into the UK because as part of a, a UK group, it uh, was really um, simple for us to establish a dedicated vertical program there. And then after that, we uh, decide to start with this, with this pan-European program, which is now counting uh, more than 100 companies from uh, uh, 25 different countries. Uh, as you can see, we have some flags uh, um, all around the world because are the uh, agreement that we have signed already with strategic partners in that areas. And so we have signed last year an agreement in Brazil in order to develop the same program also there together with the industrial lobby. We have signed an agreement in China in order to, um, to uh, establish a program also there and also in Africa. And we launched last uh, week uh, the first group of companies from Sa Sa Saudi Arabia. And so what we are doing is to collect the most ambitious companies all over the world in order to share our methodology and in order to then put all together in a network of other companies, advisors, in order to make things happen. And so this is, uh, in general, our objective. Here you can see the grow specifically on Europe because uh, the project was born uh, here. And so uh, we have now um, more than 700 companies from uh, 28 different countries. And so uh, some numbers more compared to the number of the video, which was only um, uh, prepared uh, six months ago. And so the program is growing really, really faster. Um, we have some uh, specific country in which we have a strong presence, like Italy, like the UK. Uh, but also Central East Europe uh, uh, is really well represented. And we are now developing an established partnership in the, the other countries because, for example, in, Sp in Spain or in Portugal, we have uh, um, roughly 10 companies in the program, and so we want to grow more. And we want to grow more not only for, um, uh, for the companies, but also in terms of advisors that want to join the network. Um, this is a picture of the company that we have in, uh, in Elite uh, up to now. And so just to, to, to give an example about numbers and about uh, uh, also uh, um, uh, sectors. Uh, is not a, um, this is not a, a, a platform uh, dedicated to startup. Uh, it's, a, it's a real um, platform dedicated to uh, SME. And so as you can see in the revenue range, the majority of the company are uh, around 50 million in revenue. Uh, the average is around 80 million, uh, but you can see also companies from different uh, other um, size. Uh, is a, is a, is a general program because we have uh, more than 34 sectors represented. Uh, industry, consumer goods and technology are the most represented because uh, uh, we have also established our first program in countries in which uh, these sectors are really, really well represented. And they have a total number of employees that is equal, that it's over uh, 250 employees. And so these are the numbers that we was able to put together in uh, more than uh, five years uh, up to now. Uh, and uh, under each number, there is a story of entrepreneurs. There is a, a reason why they want to join uh, in order to grow. And so I think that this kind of companies could be really of interest for advisors like you that want to start working with, them, uh, with companies uh, like that one. Is not, we are not doing everything alone because we are not covering all the topics that an SME needs. Uh, and so for this reason, we have created a network of uh, different uh, um, uh, bodies. And so uh, business schools, uh, but also advisors uh, that are also teaching in our um, uh, training and mentorship program in order to, on one hand, support the growth of these companies. On the other hand, uh, uh, start making business development uh, in order to uh, offer the services to, this, uh, to these companies. We are working very well with banks uh, because also commercial banks are understanding that they cannot continue in uh, offering traditional uh, banking finance to these companies because they need to grow faster and they need to grow uh, also using other tools, uh, um, such as equity or debt. Uh, and so in reality, what we are doing is, is to create the, the right context in which these companies can, can grow more. Here you have an example of what are the advisors, banks, and, uh, and investors that are part of this, uh, of this network. Everything is, is completely uh, transparent also on our website because it's also a digital platform, so you can see all these numbers also there. What happened is that uh, all the companies within this group uh, start making things. Uh, so start uh, making m and start making uh, private equity uh, deals, uh, joint ventures, uh, bond issues. Uh, and so 
In this slide, you can see the dynamism of the community in the last five years. More than 400 uh, um, corporate transactions uh, impacted around 20 compa 200 companies. And so the 30% of this group that has done something in terms of corporate finance. If uh, you can look to the general transaction value of these uh, um, deals, um, we are around 5 million, 5, 5 billion in terms of uh, um, transaction value. Uh, both in the private and in the public market. Uh, private market, it's easier because companies can understand the, the dynamics of this market um, better than the public one. And so if you can see the number of M&As involving uh, uh, companies, you, you can see that it's really uh, something impressive. Due to this fact, we have decided to create a private placement platform. And so the deal platform that is also in the title of my uh, of my uh, speech is, is in reality uh, a, a platform that we have launched last uh, um, uh, February. Uh, it's something that any company within the program can access in any moment of the program, and so they cannot wait uh, the end uh, of the program, but they can ask and hands up their hands and start uh, speaking with us about how to um, uh, open a deal. And it's quite simple, and so it's not a crowdfunding platform. Uh, is a, a, an institutional uh, investor platform. And so companies on one end, uh, due to the program, are preparing themselves in order to start making something. And uh, M&A, but also uh, private equity deals, uh, uh, club deals, private placement, and so on. On the other hand, uh, due to the fact that we are the London Stock Exchange Group, and so we are sitting on a pool of liquidity, which is the pool of liquidity of the investors that are investing in the listed companies, we have a group of prof professional investors. And so family offices, high net worth individuals, but also institutional funds that want to invest in a private way in these companies. Um, it's clear that for each company, there is an advisor that is, is supporting the companies in order to make the, the deal. On the other hand, the due diligence is something that is uh, up to the buy side, and so it's up to the investors. Um, we have now, uh, after 10 months, uh, more than 30 mandates uh, in this platform. Um, we are supporting companies in order to find the right uh, uh, investors within the community of the investors that we have, uh, uh, that we have here. And one of the most interesting tools that, and innovative tool that we have, we have launched last uh, January is uh, a basket bond. So we have put together 10 companies that has issued a bond, then put together in a special purpose vehicle, and the European Investment Bank has invested in these uh, 10 companies. And so in order to support companies, we are really innovative in creating also new tools, because Elite Club Deal is a fintech company, and so can use uh, digital te technology on one hand, based on the traditional um, funding opportunities, and I think that there is a space uh, to really work together um, uh, between elite and, and they are global because you are covering a lot of countries. I know that you, you are in contact with a lot of companies that can be, could be interested in, in doing that. And uh, um, I'm really keen to find uh, as soon as possible the possibility to start working with you uh, as a network in order to uh, enhance and reinforce our value in, in our business. And so thank you very much for your attention and I'm here in order to uh, to, to, to answer your question. Thank you.